Hey, buenas noches, mi gente. Un placer estar aquí. It is such an honor to be in the midst of such badassery. Uh, unbelievable. Um, the work that I do uh, exists at the intersection of racial injustice and climate change. I'm a descendant of extraction, a descendant of colonization and slavery, so I'm a Puerto Rican. And so I... I, I'm honored to be here today, and particularly uh, with this award from the media, because the media, um, when we were fighting for environmental justice and we were talking about the fact that our children can't breathe, something as fundamental as the ability to breathe, that all of the infrastructure was being put in communities of color, in particular in Latino communities. Uh, it was the Latino media who put a spotlight on our struggle, who elevated the local narrative, who helped us move legislation, because you played an organizing role in making it possible for us to move policy, for us to be able to change where resources went. You made it possible for us to be able to leverage power in our communities, and you are the only ones uh, in the media who are able to do that and have done that consistently for the Latino community. And so uh, I'm really honored to be recognized by you. Several years ago, 2006, before anybody was talking about climate justice um, in New York City, um, we decided that not only were we disparately impacted by the saturation of environmental burdens in our communities, but that we were going to be seriously affected by climate change because we were in industrial waterfront communities. And a few weeks ago, my world as a Puerto Rican woman and as a climate justice activist collided when Hurricane Maria hit uh, Puerto Rico. Um, I only have a few things to say because her song really said a lot of what I was feeling as a person who believes in Puerto Rico's sovereignty. Um, but we have been working really hard as part of the Climate Justice Alliance to move the money to the grassroots, to make sure that people who are engaged in food sovereignty in Puerto Rico buy their land, that we repatriate, that we take de pueblo a pueblo, reclamamos nuestra tierra. Y tenemos que hacer eso. So, from people who work on infrastructure to scientists, I would just say that every recovery is not the same. We're fighting for a just recovery. Sustainability does not mean justice. Sustainability could be um, the regeneration of re uh, energy regeneration, but it could be top down. It could be people helicoptering in to supplant local leadership. It could be uh, a force that can deepen our colonization. And so it's extremely important that you think about where your money goes and what the solutions are, and the solutions must be local. It is our responsibility as members of the diaspora and our allies to facilitate, not supplant local leadership in Puerto Rico. It is important that when you're hearing about Hispanic efforts, talking about Puerto Rico who are working with PROMESA, that are working with the corporations that have extracted our land for over 100 years and have put us in the situation that we are right now, because Hurricane Maria, there will be more hurricanes. And Puerto Ricans will never be able to make wit get up because the fact is that we're living in the age of climate change. Hurricane Maria arrived after Harvey showed up in Texas, after the wildfires in California, after Irma had hit Florida. And so that's the age that we're living in. And so we have to integrate climate change into every decision, into all your reporting, and into understanding that the people least responsible for creating climate change are the ones that are going to be most impacted, which is the global south, which is colonies like Puerto Rico. And so the solutions, making sure that Puerto Rico has an economy that is local, livable, and Puerto Rican-led and owned, has to be our priority. So I want to thank you, the corazón, and I'd like you to join me. Today, we know that we were able to engage Greenpeace to take a ship down to Miami. It's going to be docking there this weekend and then heading to Puerto Rico. But it can't take the supplies that we gathered that the people in Puerto Rico asked us for because the Jones Act prevents us from... The Jones Act is saying to us, the United States will not help you and we won't let you help Puerto Rico either. That's what they're saying to us, that the shipping industry is more important than the lives of the people in Puerto Rico. And so you're important because over a thousand people have already died and no one is reporting on that. If that happens anywhere, anywhere in the United States, that would be a horror show. 
five people, one person dies in a state because of something, because of violation of human rights. We are going to be working for a people's tribunal at the United Nations to charge the United States with human rights abuses in the case of Puerto Rico. And so my mom says that I came out of the womb with the fist first. And I hope you join me in raising that fist for the island of Puerto Rico because what we do there becomes a model of how people from the global south come back from disaster. And it's a lesson that can be learned throughout all of the islands that are going to be severely impacted by climate change. So, muchas gracias de corazón. Thank you.